Okay, welcome. Here we're looking at our malware analysis tools. I'm going to be looking at UPX as the unpacking tool. So we're going to be doing this based off of lab 0102. So first thing I want to do is I want to look at that lab. So we're doing it off of that lab file right there. I'm going to go ahead and upload it to my virus total. See what's going on with it. I'm going to go ahead and reanalyze it. And you should get the appropriate SHA hash. It should be shown that it is some type of Trojan. And it is by a lot of the uh, antiviruses, Fortinet, AV, uh, AVWare, McAfee, Kingsoft. They're all finding it as malware. So. 40 out of 64 does show this as malware or some type of malicious code. So once we're done with that, we want to go ahead and we want to look at this file using the PEID. I want to go ahead and open up lab file 2. If you highlight it, you should be able to see that there is a UPX1. So that does mean that this is a packed file. So we can look at PEID as a way for verification if it's packed or not. We are looking at the UPX, which I've already downloaded it, file right there. and You'll notice if we go to a command prompt and we type UPX, not a valid command. We downloaded UPX so that we can actually have it ran as a CLI. And we can run it at the CLI. Paste the UPX, so now it's in the command structure. And here we go. I'm going to close that guy. And you'll notice if we run our, just our UPX, we don't get anything else. If we want to see uh, help, we can do UPX hyphen or dash dash help. But again, there are some files here. We're going to be looking at this hyphen lowercase d, the decompress. So what we can do is we can change directories to that directory. I'm a little bit lazier than that. I'm just going to paste it on a C, C drive. Okay, though, keep in mind, when you do it like I just did it, when you paste it on C drive, you should be able to change directories to C drive, DIR so that you can see it, and we should be able to do UPX hyphen D hyphen O we're going to O for file. We want to go ahead and we want to call this lab 0102 on exe and we're reading it from lab 0102.exe. We get a permission denied. If you're getting that, it is because the location we're trying to write to. You do not have permission to write the C drive. We're using a regular command prompt. So what we have to do is we need to open up a command prompt using administrative privileges. Notice no administrator, yes administrator. Also notice that the prompt we start in is different. I'm a little bit lazy and I don't want to have to keep retyping it, so I'm actually, I already saved it off my screen. UPX hyphen D hyphen O lab files. 
because again we have permission because we're doing it from the administrator command prompt we can do this from C however if you do not have write privileges to C you can't do that so a regular command prompt cannot do that alright so there's our unpacked file I'm done with my command prompt let's go back to our tools I'm going to go ahead and make this just copy to my desktop. Let's see if it works. Yes, it does. I'm looking at the unpacked file. Here is the dot text. Here is the actual byte size. You'll see uh, the appropriate uh, file. Uh, this is known as Visual Basic C++ version 6 file. If we're looking for more information, we could use, maybe let's look at dependency walker. This lets us know that it was unpacked. Create shortcut to my desktop. I want to look at the unpacked version. Unpacked. And you'll notice we have additional DLLs now. If we are looking, because one of the options is looking for internet open URL uh, in the imports. First DLL, get module, create wait table, ADV API 32. That's for creating a service. What about this win inet? Win inet, we happen to see it being an import for internet open URL and internet open A. So we can see that this might call for a URL. Alright, so again, this is unpacking using UPX, how we can verify it, and how we start looking at how we do the tools together. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thank you.